Good morning, family. Welcome to your cards for the week. I am La Santera. Today is Monday, March 2nd. Happy March. Happy March, family. Um, I'm going to keep our messages for this week um, brief because I have been a little bit under the weather, but I wanted to show up. I wanted to show up today for you, but mostly for me. I wanted to show up and So I ask you to just bear with me, right? Because I am someone who is transparent. I am someone who is real. I'm a real person. You know, a spiritual being having a human experience. So for as much as I want to be brief, I'm going to allow my body to just ease in. To ease into these messages. So I ask you to just send me love and healing because I send you love and healing. Not because I send you love and healing. No. Because we are a human family. We are a human family. And if something is happening to one of us, it's happening to all of us. So let's get still, let's get still, because even though I'm going through something right now, I know you're going through something right now. And when we're family, we hold each other. We lift each other. We may not have the solutions. We may not have the answers. We may not have the money to bail someone out. But we can be there for them. You could be there for family in any way that feels good to you. And so it feels good to me to show up in my, in my most true form today with the little bit of energy I have to share our beautiful cards today, our messages from the Ocha, our messages from Egun. Right? We're together. <laughs> so in full transparency, I'm I'm so weak, right? But I'm shuffling the cards and I'm shuffling the cards because I want I want messages for us this week and I'm asking and I'm saying, give us something. What do you want us to know? <laughs> and I flip the cards over. And the first card that comes out is manifestation. And truly the words that came out of my mouth were, shut the fuck up. <laughs> because um, the reason why this card is beautiful for today, Monday, March 2nd, and tomorrow, March 3rd, is... Um, because yesterday, um, a dear friend, Sarai, was over, and she, because I'm so weak, she's been helping me, she helped me write the welcome. She wrote it. She wrote the welcome for the Sankofa Sisterhood Writers Retreat. She wrote it. And I asked her to reflect on what mag magic and manifestation meant to her. And I asked her to, you know, to reflect on what Sankofa means to her. And so the fact that manifestation um, is the card for us to reflect on at the beginning of this week is to, you know, I, I want us to look at this angel, right? Because this deck is the Healing with Angels Oracle deck. And so, you know, Healing with Angels, what does that mean, right? That means that we believe in um, angels and angels are our spirit guides. Angels are our guardians, right? Our our family, our ancestors, people who have transitioned. My brother is is an angel. And so, you know, as you see this angel sort of kneeling over this bottle of water, or it's a cliff. No, it's a rock. She's on a mountain. She's on a cliff. And you see at the tips of her fingers, she's manifesting like 
with the stars and it looks crystallized, right? And she's kneeling there and and this angel is, you know, petitioning petitioning the spirit world to to assist with co-creating something beautiful. So the manifestation card coming for us today, starting this week, right, for Monday and Tuesday is a huge blessing. We are all trying to manifest something. We're trying to manifest things in our life. You know, it could be a huge project. It could be just manifesting peace. It could be manifesting a healthy lifestyle. The food that we put in our body. You know, I'm thinking a lot. I have a little bit of an obsession this weekend with what we are putting in our body. So what are you manifesting in terms of health, happiness, joy, love? Manifestation isn't just, isn't just the book I want to see finished or the writing career that I want to see um, thrive. Mm -mm. Manifestation is anything, anything that we, that we're ready to see realized, right? And so whatever it is that you've been praying for, asking for, know that the messages that the Agun that Egun bring us are saying, yes, my my child, you are listening, you are co-creating with me. And I have and if you haven't been listening, I'm forcing you to listen. In my case, I'm being forced to listen to some things right now in terms of manifestation. There's some forced manifestation happening. It's like, oh, we manifest we manifesting today not in a week not in a month not in 10 years we are manifesting a healthy life practice like that that's what i'm thinking about today right think about what it is that you want to see manifest whatever it is for many of us there's a lot of um fear around money money is the thing Money, fame, success, éxito, notoriety. There's something that needs to be manifested here before we can see all of those things there. And, and truly, I know we need to live but let's start to look at what we're manifesting because is it in alignment with who we are? What we say we want, is it in alignment with who you are? What you say you want, is it in alignment? Today I'm manifesting healing. Tomorrow I am manifesting healing. This week I am manifesting healing. What are you manifesting? And by healing, I'm talking about healing my heart, healing my spirit, healing my mind, healing my body, healing my trauma, healing my pain, healing my hurt, healing my rage, healing my anger, healing my resentments, healing my guilt, healing my shame. What are you manifesting? Because in order for us to manifest, we are also clearing, right? We're clearing some things in order to manifest. We're making room for the thing that we're manifesting. In my case, it's writing. So I'm manifesting a creative space that's conducive to the beautiful art that I want to see in the world, that I want to leave for my daughter and all of the children of the world, right? Manifestation, what a beautiful message. Let's breathe.
for Wednesday, Thursday this week. Your card is new beginnings. Our card is new beginnings. Ache modo pue, modo pue. You're giving birth. We talked about it in manifestation, right? You're giving birth to a new lifestyle. New beginnings is this new chapter. You're in a new place. You're not the same person. Your practices have changed, your rituals, your belief in you. Allow Wednesday and Thursday to be days that you honor that, this new beginning, these rituals. If you are starting a new diet, If you are starting a new diet, right? Um, let's say you're starting a plant-based diet. And, and it goes well on Monday and Tuesday, but you feel like on Wednesday you, you, um, you want to cheat. Part of this new beginning is a, is a commitment. Is a commitment to, um, to following through. This new beginning is that. You are not the same. Going back to old choices and bad choices, um, not bad choices, um, unhealthy choices, right? Going back to unhealthy choices in terms of food. I'm using food as the example because food is on my heart right now. Um, is us punishing ourselves. Because putting good food in our body is saying that we are loving ourselves. So when we revert to the unhealthy choices, whether that's, you know, alcohol or whatever, people, the toxins, let's say the toxins that we put in our body or the toxic experiences that we allow in our space, we are going back to an old version of ourselves that no longer exists but that we are so sort of married to, right? And so with this New Beginnings card, you know, our angels, our Aguna is saying, no, my child, you're not the same. And so your body's not the same, your spirit is not the same. While it might have felt good to have those unhealthy behaviors in the past because they're all you knew, it's time for something new. You're in a new in a new place. So when Wednesday comes along and you find yourself wanting to grab that fried chicken, you're gonna you're gonna make a different choice, a better choice in that moment instantaneously. You're gonna catch yourself instantaneously and um choose again choose again your last card for the week is self-acceptance tempted to sing Billy Joel I love you just the way you are Here's the thing, for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we're being called to truly love on ourselves, to love on ourselves, to accept who we are, accept what we bring, accept everything about us, flaws and all, accepting ourselves, flaws and all, accepting ourselves with all of our mistakes, right? Self-acceptance is that, like, we are not the mistakes of our past. Self-acceptance um, requires compassion. That's the word I've been thinking about all morning. We are having compassion for ourselves. We are having compassion for ourselves. Family, that is your reading for the week. I'm sending you so much love. I'm sending you so much love and healing. I pray that this week brings you all of the things. All of the things. I wish that for you. I wish that for me. Um, and yeah, 
I'll see y'all next week. Have an amazing week. Leave me comments. Let me know how you're feeling, how you're doing. Um, share the goodness that's showing up for you. Um, subscribe, like, share. Um, send me love. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye.